Today, we're going to find use Python to find the factorial of a number. What is a factorial? Factorial of a number is taking that number, let's say 5, and multiplying it by that number minus 1. Multiplying that again by that same number minus 2. You keep multiplying until you reach 1. Here's an example. 5 factorial is written as 5 like an exclamation mark is equal to so 5 factorial is equal to 5 times 5 minus 1 times 5 times 5 minus 2 times 5 times 5 minus 3 times 5 times 5 minus 4 and you're multiplying that, you get 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which is 120. Now, how do you program that? Just to be sure, make sure that the factorial of 1, take note, factorial of 1 is always 1. And today, in a video, I will explain what are factorials in a separate tutorial. tutorial. And why 0 factorial actually equals 1. So let's first program this. So I'm on a trinket right now. And let's see. So first, we have to make a function. So we're going to do def or define. You can do fact or fact or whatever. I'm going to do factorial of n. n is the variable that they use. Now that we got the factorial function, we have to make sure that if anyone inputs 1, we have to always answer as 1. So if n is equal to 1, then we're going to return 1. Now go here, so click enter and click back, see it's right aligned with here with the if. And we're going to click else. Else, we're going to return n times return factorial of n times n minus 1. That's how you calculate the factorial. Keep doing it till you reach one. And we're going to go here, right next to the def, and do, and we're gonna make sure we input, somebody gets a chance to input what number they want. Make sure it's an integer and not a negative number. Enter an integer, that is, positive we're going to use space and put a colon and click enter again now since we called it we about returning it doesn't print it so how do you print it you do print factorial the function n if we run this program and turn into it as positive let's say five again What's that my thing happened? Okay. So that one's pretty slow. Let's try this one. So five, we get 120. So 120 is our factorial or AKA five times four times three times two times one. Let's say 10. Yeah, it's gonna print 10 times nine times eight times seven times six times five times 14, 13, one. And if you try printing negative one, it will stop you. It won't give an answer. It will just saying stop. Hey, you can, it's told you not to use negative numbers. Say four, you get 24. Four times three times two times one. And let's say if you want to be really, if you want to do something like that, it's way too overflow. Let's do 100. Yeah, it's 100 times 99 times 98 times 97 until you get to one. 
Now that's how you make a factorial calculator in Python. I'll show you next more tutorials and I'll show you what a factorial is and explaining why zero factorial equals one. See you next time. Peace out and keep following my channel. I'll post videos daily. Goodbye and subscribe.